I got an email for people who wanted to go on adventures. Hashtag experts only. I was like, I like adventures. Let me see what this is about. So I was really excited about it because I want to talk about gear and see what the gear was all about. Read through it, answered some questions about my experience in mountain biking. And then I got the phone call that said, you're in. I said, sweet, so am I. I was originally working in New York City as a banker, and I wanted to do more outdoor adventures. So I packed up and moved out to Utah, where the snow is amazing for skiing, and the brown pal for mountain biking is just as good in the summer. I'm Rachel Ross. I started climbing about three years ago. Came out here, learned how to canyoneer, so I thought it was going to be more of a seasonal thing. It's turned into more of a lifestyle. How's Hi. it going? Are you Drew? I am Drew. I'm Rachel. Rachel, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. A letter for us? Yeah, it's Rachel and that. Drew. Welcome to Zion. We were really impressed by your credentials and can't wait to see you in action. This is your adventure box. We put it together especially for you and your adventure. Here are your missions. Drew, head out to Gooseberry Mesa for some incredible rides and views on your mountain bikes. Rachel, guide Drew through a canyoneering expedition. Keep everyone safe and show off your expertise. These are gonna be good for canyoneering, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Look at this color. What else we got? Biking out in the desert. Thank. We can't forget about the cooler. <laughs> Post-ride beers. Right? Totally. Good luck with your adventure. There's only one last thing to do before you start. Find your last piece of gear over behind the wood pile. Love, experticity. Behind the wood pile. Wood pile, let's go check it out. There's a few wood piles. The wood pile. What do we got? The wood Two pile. bikes. <gasps> Is that, was that mine, the purple one? Look at it. Oh my God. Look at it. We're gonna have so much fun on these. Sweet. Oh. Check it out. Oh yeah, this, this will work great. My dad was the person who got me really into mountain biking. He's always ridden a bike, so it was kind of a, a family thing. We would go out on a mountain bike trip, and that was really, you know, the beginning of my mountain biking passion. So we're at Goose Bay Mesa. I'm a little tired, but now we're here and we're about to get on a mountain bike, so I'm excited to take Rachel out and teach her a few things, hopefully. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited to kick it. And drink some more juice. The feeling I get from mountain biking, it's really a release. You're not thinking about work anymore. You're thinking about 10 to 20 feet in front of you. That's what's in your mind. It's really just getting out there. How's your day been? How do you like uh, biking so far? It's been so rad. This is so beautiful. So I need to figure out the balance between when do I start going fast, when do I start slowing down, and, and why. I think, you know, the slower you go, the um, more unbalanced you feel because you're more or less standing on the bike. Absolutely. What I would recommend is when you're coming up to a steep slope, kind of get out of your saddle a little bit, not much, but keep the weight still on your back wheel. Okay. That'll keep it from slipping out. So you don't want to lean forward? No, no, because that, okay. will, that will make you slip out and probably fall. But not too far because you don't want to lift up. It's a, you got to balance it. Okay, Because there will, be, there will be no traction on the back wheel. <laughs> okay. And you kind of want to power it up. It's not like a road bike where you're kind of spinning. You want to power it up it, which will give you more stability, and it will help you not go right over the handlebars. Right. You ready to try that? Totally. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. So what am I getting into today? So today, the canyon that we're going to be going to involves hiking up to the canyon. I have to use our hands and feet to scramble over obstacles. OK. Um, and then we're going to gain some elevation and then lose it throughout the day via other techniques such as rappelling. So I got the ropes, you got some gear, and we'll be all, we'll be all set to go explore. How do you think I'll do? I think you'll do fantastic. OK. Yeah, no pressure, though. <laughs> Hey, 
Okay, when I first started candyneering, I did not like it one bit. It involved what I thought was the worst parts of climbing. And then once I started to realize that it was less about um, where I was and more about who I was with, it became more of a team sport. And I started to get more involved in the community and really understand that canyoneering is not just about rappelling. It's not just about hiking. It feels more of an exploration. That's when I started to really fall in love with the sport. Okay, so now we're gonna set up the ropes. So, here's my rope. Here's the point that I'm gonna put the rope through. There's two bolts up here, which okay. makes it redundant, and if one of these popped, this would still be attached to the other one up here. So, the, each of these can hold about 10,000 pounds each. Okay. So we're set with that. So I put the rope here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count out however many feet of rope I think I need. So this drop is about 50 feet, so count out 50 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 45, 50. What's better, more or less rope? More. Rope! All right, let's get you hooked up. Cool. Great, you're all set to go. I love teaching people about canyoneering. Because uh, again, I, I love knots, I love rope systems. To see someone's face for the first time when they go rappelling and realize, oh, I am safe, oh, the system is set up correctly, I can trust the ropes, I can trust Rachel. It reminds me why I do it, for sure. And it also allows people to um, become connected to the environment and nature and see it more how I've started to see it. Um, something to protect, something to respect. Great day. Great day. Thank you Thank for teaching you. me. Thank you for your willingness and your courageousness and your go for it attitude. It was good to learn something new and just test my skills. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot and I don't want to go home. I know. You'll just have to come back here. Sounds good. I can't wait.